communicator sent him to an address beside the river, where the master was temporarily lodging. Cooper found the apartment and could hear him practicing guitar out on the balcony overlooking the river as joggers and residents from the local old people's home nearby passed with their Zimmer frames. Cooper entered the door. But before he could approach him, the master sensed that someone was in the room, and suddenly he leapt into the air and down onto the grass below, and onto a jet ski, making an escape upriver at very high speed. Cooper decided to visit the senior citizen's retirement home nearby and read the history of the Australian Armed Forces from the Boer War in South Africa in 1889 to the current Iraq and Afghanistan missions in 2009. They are displayed on a series of small plaques in the garden of the retirement home, like the Stations of the Cross. He supposed it served to remind the residents, many of them old enough to remember nearly all of the conflicts displayed there, of their good fortune having survived and read the plaques. Later talking to some of the residents about their neighbour, he discovered that the master, Jeff Gordon, was a frequent guest at the local RSL, where he often gave lectures on the Book of Five Rings, a classic guide to strategy, a Japanese martial arts book written by the great samurai swordmaster Miyamoto Musashi. Miyamoto's book is a 17th century guide to sword fighting strategy, explaining the ideal postures, blows and psychological tactics to put the enemy off guard and open the way for attack. It also explains Miyamoto's concept of rhythm, how all things are in harmony, and that by working with the rhythm of a situation, we can turn it to our advantage with little effort. The master had been in Italy during World War II with the Allied forces when they landed at Anzio, and it seems that many of the soldiers were familiar with his book. RSL stands for the Returned and Services League of Australia and is a support organisation for the men and women who have served or are serving in the Australian Defence Forces. It was formed as the Returned Sailors and Soldiers Imperial League of Australia in 1916 and the change to its current name was made in 1990 to reflect the organisation's concern for current as well as former servicemen and servicewomen. The patron of the RSL is Her Majesty the Queen, it is politically influential and at times highly controversial. As well as arguing for veterans' benefits, it is seen as politically conservative, anglophilic and monarchistic. <laughs> RSL clubs usually have a bar and dining facilities for their members and guests, and sometimes have extensive gambling areas. Many club branches offer live music, at least one evening per week, and sometimes more. Poker gambling machines are a prominent feature of RSL clubs, and they are a big source of revenue. Critical voices, however, see them as part of an ever-increasing social gambling problem. <laughs>